Hey, Matsumiya! Found a really nice restaurant. Wanna come with me sometime? No, thank you. I'm working right now. She's as cold as always. So quick to reject them. Her name is Matsumiya Aoi. She's a famous receptionist for our company, and she's known for her beauty and cold attitude. My name is Arachi Yukito, and I'd never talked to her a single time before. However, I've heard rumors about why she keeps on rejecting all the guys that approach her. The rumors state that she has a boyfriend or a fiancé. She might not be interested in dating at all, too. Hey, you there. Do you have a moment? Your tie is a little crooked. Oh, uh, thanks. You should take care of your appearance. You're an office worker, after all. Okay. Wait, what's happening? Is something wrong? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Thanks for fixing my tie for me. Yeah, well, good luck with your work for today. I wonder if she's a little strange. I don't think a normal person would fix the tie of someone they've never talked to before. Lunch break that day. I told Kimura, my co-worker, about what had happened that morning. Kimura and I went to the same male-only high school. We ended up going to different colleges after high school. For some reason, we ended up working for the same company, and we'd go out to drink from time to time. Oh, that's kinda unexpected of her. Matsumiya of all people? Right? I was surprised too. Maybe she's interested in you or something. No way, we've never even talked before. Could be that she fell in love with you at first sight. You might be the guy she's destined to marry. We're not in a romance movie. I think she's just a little strange. Yukito, you're still as emotionless as always. Well, I'm not really interested in love or romance. All you do is play games. Sometimes you should take interest in women. Be quiet. Playing games is more fun. Well, that's why you're 27 years old and never had a girlfriend before. You say that, but you're not much better. You sure about that? You proposed to my girlfriend just the other day. What? This when did you have a girlfriend? Yeah, I do. I didn't tell you. It's been three years since I started dating her. Kimura, congratulations. Matsumiya suddenly appeared behind us, and we were both really shocked. What? Uh, Matsumiya? I had something that I needed to tell you, so I was looking for you. Our business partner called and said it was urgent. Please call them back as soon as possible. Oh no, I wonder if I made a mistake or something. You should contact them as soon as possible. Got it, thanks Matsumiya. She surprises me every single time. Also, you there. Huh? You have something to tell me too? Yes, my name is Matsumiya Aoi. It's my third year here. Thank you for being polite. My name is Adachi Yukito. It's my fifth year here. Why are we introducing ourselves to each other? I have something that I'd like to tell you. You should take care of your appearance. I see you every morning, but your tie is often crooked and your hair is a mess most days. Uh, okay. Oh, so she's just here to scold me then. Also, one more thing. What? She's still got more to say? So she's been watching me every morning. And she thinks that I don't care of my appearance well enough. Kimura was wrong. She hadn't fallen in love with me at first sight. I'm not disappointed, but if... Eventually, she finished scolding me. I'll be careful from now on. Yeah, please be more careful. So yeah, we ended up talking twice today, however... I realized that she's the kind of woman that I dislike. She's pretty, but she's emotionless, and I have no idea what she's thinking about. The next day, I had to listen to Kimura as he showed up in front of me in tears. Not good. I completely messed up. Hey man, you okay? Kimura made a huge mistake and caused trouble to our business partner. He seemed to be really mentally unstable. He told me he's gonna have to work overtime for a while to cover for his mistakes. Also, I was planning on seeing my girlfriend after school today so that we could officially become engaged. You were planning on... 
I haven't managed to get the marriage documents from the registry office yet. She's gonna be so mad. You can just download the marriage documents online, right? Why don't you just print the documents here at work? If someone finds out I did that, I'm gonna get fired for sure this time! Ugh, fine then. I'll go to the registry office to get your marriage documents. You get back to work and redeem yourself. Thanks so much, Fred! During lunch break, I went to the marriage registry office to get the documents. When I got back to the office, my superior started talking to me. Hey, could you do me a favor? I need you to give these envelopes to Matsumiya at the reception. Our business partners should be over to pick them up soon. Okay, sure. I went to Matsumiya and gave her the documents that my superior handed to me. However... Do you need something from me? Uh, I was told to give these envelopes to you. Let me check the contents of the envelopes. Yeah, I find her so awkward to talk to. Um, is this some kind of prank? Huh? Ah! I was in a rush and totally messed up! I had accidentally handed the wrong envelope to Matsumiya! The envelope I handed to her contained the marriage documents I'd gotten for Kimura! So, you heard that he was getting married and tried to steal this from him? Uh, it's nothing complicated like that at all! I messed up! I was meant to give these papers to Kimura! I did my best to explain the situation to her and clear up any misunderstandings. However, for some reason, my boss asked me to come and see her! Please, sit right there. Yeah, okay. I was really nervous. I did make a mistake after all. Even though it was a mistake, handed some marriage documents to a female employee. I guess they thought that this was a problem. The boss of our company changed to Mrs. Tachibana three years ago. Her father, who was the previous boss, passed away due to an illness. At the time, she was working for a large company abroad, but she was recalled to inherit the company. She's a beautiful and capable worker, but she was also famous for being very strict. So I'm very, very scared! So, I heard that you mistakenly handed over some marriage documents to Matsumiya, who works at the reception, but... How in the world did you manage to mistake work documents with marriage documents? Well, I wasn't paying attention. Even if you weren't paying attention, this is an unforgivable mistake. You need to take responsibility. Yes, I will. Please don't fire me! All right, make sure that you're free this evening. Huh? This evening? I'll tell Matsumiya about the details. Once you're done with work, go and talk to her, okay? I did as my boss told me and went to talk to Matsumiya after I finished work. Um, Matsumiya, I'm sorry about what happened at lunch. Our boss told me to come and talk to you once I was done with work. Yeah, alright, let's go then. Let's go? Where are we going? We ended up heading to a famous restaurant in a taxi together. The restaurant was very high class, and it was often featured on TV and magazines. Is our boss waiting for us here? No, our boss will not be coming. However, she said that she would pay for our dinner. How come? Let's just go inside for now. So for some reason, Matsumiya and I started having dinner together. However... What did you end up doing with those marriage documents? Oh, um, I gave them to Kimura. Did you write your name down and then give it to him? I'm not trying to steal his girl or anything. That's perfect, then. Perfect? What do you mean? I was planning on giving you these. She said those words and started to grab something out of her bag. Huh? These are marriage documents, aren't they? But what else would they be? Well, I can see that they're marriage documents, but why is your name written down? Let's get engaged. What? The, oh, hold on a minute. What in the world are you talking about? 
You never take care of your appearance at all. From that, I can predict that you don't have a very good lifestyle. Well, I, I do admit that's true, but... It's gonna cause you some trouble at work at some point. I'll improve your lifestyle before you cause trouble at work. Why would you do that? I fell in love with you. You were the first person to hand me marriage documents right away. Most guys ask me out for dinner or dates. I know it was a mistake, but unfortunately, I fell in love with you because of it. Uh, tell me that first! So you need to take responsibility for it. Wait, I know nothing about you, and you know nothing about me either, right? Well, we can get to know each other from now on. It's better to just go for it instead of regretting on not acting years later. Uh, you're thinking way too positively about this situation. I have no intention of getting married to anybody in the first place. Why is that? I just hate the idea of not being free and being very restricted too. Is this being too childish? I don't really do great around women, and I'm content with being a gamer right now. I explained all of this to her very carefully, but... I don't really understand. Why would you lose your freedom if you had a partner? It wouldn't be controlling at all, either. Did you just ask why? You might just be making some assumptions. I'm not a controlling woman at all. I won't be a nuisance. Does she not realize that this situation she's put me in is a huge nuisance? Can I ask you why you decided to hand me marriage documents immediately? I like to do things back exactly as they were done to me. I always get my revenge. That's like the definition of being a nuisance! Then how about we settle halfway and try living together? Did you just say, live together? There's no way that living together is halfway! Why should we have to do that? It's like a testing period. Please see if I'm a worthy partner for you, honey. Did you just call me honey? This is a huge nuisance for me. However, I do need to take responsibility for my mistake. I do feel bad about making a mistake at work after all. I... Guess we can live together for a little while, and she'll move out once she gets tired of me. Alright, fine. We'll live together for a little while then. Yay, I'm so happy. Could you say stuff like that with a smile? So I gave up, and ended up agreeing to live together. However, I'm not sure why, but I'm completely filled with anxiety. However, one thing I realized after talking to her for a while is that Matsumiya Aoi is an absolutely huge nuisance. That weekend, she came over to my place with all of her belongings. I hope that we can get along well for a long time. I hope that we don't have to be together for a long time. I guess you should come in for now. She's basically managed to force me to live with her. This is the first time I've been inside a gamer's room. It's cleaner than I thought. So that's your first reaction? Well, it's the first time I've ever entered a guy's room. So that's your first reaction? I really don't know how to talk to this woman. My first impression of her was that she's cold and hard to interact with. However, my current impression of her is that she's a kind of strange woman. Actually, she's a very strange woman. I'm gonna borrow your kitchen. I feel like she's a little ditzy too. Wait, what? Did you really make all of this yourself? It might not seem like it, but I'm a great cook. My dream has always been to become a great housewife. <laughs> I hope that you can achieve your dream one day. I'll do my best. So please let me become your wife. Why are you so motivated? Wait, this is delicious! I made a lot of it, so please eat as much as you want. Please, say that with a smile. You'd be more attractive. So, do you prefer women that show more emotion? Of course I do. Then I guess I'll show more emotion when I'm with you then. 
Oh, uh, wait, you don't have to force anything. Your smile is so damn cute. Huh? We need to calm down. Take some deep breaths. She continued to do all of the housework for me. She was very skilled at doing all the housework. It wasn't just cooking that she was good at. She got everything done around the house in a very timely manner. I had so much more freedom every day. I really didn't know how I should interact with her, especially after she had done so much for me. I wonder why she does all of this for me. Is it really just because I didn't take care of my appearance every day? Or is it because I accidentally handed marriage documents to her immediately? I really don't think most people would do this much for me after just that. She's a strange person. But I feel like there's a reason why she acts this way. I guess there's some background that she hasn't told me about yet. Whenever I left work, she was always waiting for me. Good job at work today. Oh, thanks. You too. Should we go home then? Yeah, I guess so. Am I being a nuisance to you? Am I being too controlling? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm talking about me waiting for you to be done with work. Uh, no, it's fine. Although, I don't really see the need for you to wait for me like this. Why don't you just go back home immediately? It's because I want to go home with you. Uh, oh, I see. Want to eat out today? We always eat at home. Yeah. Uh, not good. I'm starting to think that she's cute. I think that we're both really inexperienced in love and romance. A little while later, on our day off, I was playing a game. Uh, do you want to play too? No, I don't want to get in your way. Please, let me watch from here. How about we play together? We can do that. Whoa, uh, how am I meant to do this? You need to spam the button. Keep pressing it! Okay, spam the button. Yeah, like that! You're doing good! Uh, okay, spam the button. Phew, I thought the games were easy. That was kind of draining. I didn't think that you would panic like that. Uh, I wasn't panicking at all. Are you sure? Let's play again. She used to be emotionless, beautiful, but cold-hearted. At least, I'd assumed that because of all of the rumors that were going around at work. I guess they were just rumors, though. I've started to think that she isn't emotionless or cold. She's always motivated and doing her best. I think that she just doesn't have enough confidence in herself. Hey, Matsumiya, why do you take care of me so much? What do you mean? Well, I've been thinking this for a while, but I don't feel like I've done anything to deserve any of this from you. Do I really have to tell you? Why are you being so hesitant about this? Well, if I tell you, I'd have to move out of here and quit the company. Why? However, I'll tell you if you really want to hear. Please, tell me. Okay. I'm actually the daughter of the previous boss of our company. What? The family name of the previous boss is Tachibana. The current boss is called Tachibana too. Yeah, she's my sister-in-law. We have different mothers. I realized everything from her facial expressions. Matsumiya Aoi was not recognized by the previous boss at all. If people found out about this, it would paint a bad picture of the previous boss. And that would make life difficult for my sister-in-law, too. So you're trying to protect the current boss? You're protecting your sister? Yeah, me and my sister actually get along really well. When I was in high school, she contacted me through social media, and that's how we met. She was actually the one that invited me to come work for her, too. Even though I'm the daughter of her dad's mistress, she treated me so well. She even gave me money to go to college. I consulted her about you too, and she really encouraged me to try approaching you. Oh, so that's why she made me go to that restaurant with you that day. Yeah, we're sorry for tricking you. 
Why did you decide to do all of this for me? I'm sorry for asking you so many questions. I thought that you were a trustworthy guy. You went to the registry office in place of your friend Kimura. You also apologized to me even after you accidentally gave me those marriage documents too. I know that you had made a mistake, but I fell in love with you that day. I thought that you wanted to marry me of all people. <laughs> I can't believe I fell for you so easily. Also, after we started living together, you kept on asking me if I was okay. I'm no good. I think I've really fallen in love with you, Yukido. Matsumiya. However, I made a promise with my sister. I told her that I'd quit the company if I ever told anyone about this secret. So that's why our trial period is now over. I guess I'll go now. Huh? Yukido? I had embraced her by the time I noticed. Matsumiya, wait, Aoi, I want you to stay by my side. Don't try to just leave all of a sudden like that. I've fallen in love with you. I've been in love with you for a while, Aoi. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to tell you my true feelings. Yukido, I'm so happy to hear that, but it hurts so much. You shouldn't be kind to me in situations like this. It's going to be so difficult for me to decide. She ended up leaving my house. A month later, she ended up quitting the company too. Matsumiya ended up quitting the company. Matsumiya ended up quitting the company. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Shouldn't you be a little more upset about it? It can't be helped. She made a promise. Huh? What promise are you talking about? Hey! There was no need for her to quit in my opinion. She decided to keep her promise with her sister-in-law. I mean, she grew up without a dad, and she'd never dated a guy before either. She ended up rejecting all the guys that would come and try to flirt with her. She started to hate guys. I was the exception. That's why. Welcome home. Thanks, Aoi. That's why I couldn't leave her alone no matter what. That's why I decided to sign and hand in the marriage documents that she had given me. We were both very inexperienced in love, but we had become husband and wife. How's your new workplace? I still haven't gotten used to it, but everybody there is really nice. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I'll do my best. We're still figuring things out, but I'm really happy that I get to spend time with her every day. My sister told me that she wants to get dinner with us sometime. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's go to a restaurant together next week. I haven't told Kimura about this yet, but I think he's going to be surprised. He'd never guess that I'm currently living with such a kind and beautiful woman. 